my name is Matt Moffitt, and today I'm here with Teresa at Lemon Bay Soap Company. How's it going? It's going well. Real well. Nice to meet you, Matt. You too. And uh, tell us about your company and what made you start it. I bought Lemon Bay Soap Company in January of 2014. Okay. No, 2018 it was. And um, I walked in to buy soap. They were down in the Gallery Plaza, mm -hmm. and she said, the business is for sale. And I said, I want to buy it. <laughs> Perfect timing. So I um, went through the process and bought it, and we moved it up here to the, it was the Easton Plaza, but now it's Theodore's Plaza. Okay. It was a great move. This plaza was empty, but now it's full. Okay. And what kind of products do you sell? I have coconut moisturizing cream, I have sugar scrubs, goat milk, glycerin soaps, um, cold process soaps, body sprays, body wash, all, a line of thieves products Okay. for that antibacterial factor that we all need today. <laughs> gotcha. But What's your best seller? My best seller is coconut moisturizing cream. Nice. Yeah, I probably sold around 10,000 jars of that. We figured it up around Christmas time. Wow. About 10,000 jars. <laughs> Crazy. Nice. And what's uh, your location in hours so people can come see you? I'm at 2411 South McCall Road, the Theodore's Plaza. I am here from 10 until 5, Monday, or Tuesday through Friday. Saturday, I'm here from 10 till 2. But the month of September, I'm going to switch up my hours, and I will only be here until 2 o'clock every day. Okay. And then October 1st, I will go back to 5 o'clock. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, would you mind taking us back and showing us the process of making some glycerin soap? Sure. I'll be back. Thank you. I've already melted a little bit of glycerin, and I put a little bit of red mica in it and some walnut fragrance oil and I'm going to pour up just a few maple leaf soaps. I guess we're heading into fall so maple leaves are sort of a, a thing right now. So I, I simply just pour them into the mold then you spray it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol to take away all the bubbles and about an hour it'll be set up and then I let them sit for a little while and I pop them out, we wrap them up, label them, set them on the shelf. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I will mix up a little sugar scrub and creamy coconut is a favorite. So what I do is I keep a bunch of sugar scrub mixed up and then when I do a special jar I add it to a Pyrex and I put a little bit of fragrance oil in it, just enough to make it smell good, and I mix it real good. And I make a mess. Not always, but sometimes I make a mess. And then I have, these are my sugar scrub jars, and what I do is I just pour it into the jar Sometimes I mix up the perfect amount. Not every time, but every once in a blue moon. And then I put a lid on. And then I have a whole bunch of labels. I'll put a label on top that says coconut and the ingredients on the bottom, and then it goes on the shelf. Uh, what's the dog's name? Lizzie. Lizzie? She, usually she doesn't follow she me, back, me, but today she wants to be. This is a little different for her. Yeah. <laughs> These are co-processed soaps that are curing. When I pour up a batch of co-processed soap, it stays in a mold for 24 hours, then I pop it out and cut them down, and they sit here on the shelf for four weeks. Oh, wow. So this is oatmeal, milk, and honey that's sitting around curing, and this is um, eucalyptus and spearmint. It's sitting around curing. This is a small piece of meadow breeze it's sitting back here getting ready but all these are all sitting back here waiting to cure and then i'll put them in a box and put a label on and have them on the shelf they go 
Well, thank you for showing us the process. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's my pleasure.